Hello everyone, my name is Chris Sherrod. Welcome back to the long dark. It has been so long since I've played this game. I don't even remember the last time I touched it. But we're gonna... I don't have my save data. Why'd you like in that? I don't have my save data. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Oh no, we're good. Okay. <laughs> don't give me a heart attack like that. All right, we're in chapter two. two. We're just gonna do more of the story than survival. Which is fine. It's been a long time. I was more like gun ho of the survival back in the first story. So we had the old grandma that was blind and everything. We got to the new area. We saw this weird cutscene of this guy. Or we were getting mauled by a bear. And this guy kind of shot him with a shotgun. I remember it because it was so weird. I'll shut up now. There's me! I forgot what I look like! <laughs> so quiet. Turn it up when we get in the game. Every single time it all shifts one way or the other. And I'm a goddamn coward, but then again, so are you. And the lie and the roar, the lie and the roar. That's me evading, hollering, feeling you. Why did you? Fire <laughs> must touch. <laughs> hey, damn it, not again. No, the lights. Hey, easy. Take it easy. <sighs> Who are you? Name's Mackenzie. I'm the one who saved you from the bear. You kill it? I don't think so. But I hit it. Maybe scared it away. You hit it dead center of a shotgun. How'd you not kill it? What the way you shoot? Glad your memory's coming back. <laughs> Shit. He got me good this time. This time? Mm. Huh. Yeah. Me and the old bear go back a ways. Uh. There's, there's unfinished business between us. I bandaged you up, but you're in bad shape. Is there anywhere to get medical help? What? <laughs> you mean like a hospital? Out here? Nah. Nothing like that. I see you have a radio. Can we call for help? No. Radio's been dead for the past few days. I can't raise any of the usual channels. I'm not sure why. Well, you'll need some stronger meds to avoid infection. And for the pain. 
be some kind of doctor. No. But I've been around doctors enough to know you'll be in trouble soon. Unless you get some better help than I can give you. Yeah. Right. Well. <clears throat> Closest help is probably in Milton. Back the way you came. Uh, there's nobody left to help you there. The town's pretty much deserted. There was a fire and... Uh... Damn. The next town's days away. I'm wrecked. But if you leave now, you might be able to... You won't last days like this. Must be another way. There's... There's someone who might help. But we can only reach them by radio. So, we're back to where we started. There's got to be somewhere nearby that might have medical supplies or another radio we can use. You might find some comms gear or parts in the old Carter Dam. It's probably ancient stuff, though. That place has been abandoned for years. It used to have a first aid room. Might still be some old meds there, too. <laughs> Something strong enough to maybe numb this pain. Hang in there. I'll be back as soon as I can. Wait. Wait. The old bear. He's still out there. I've been wanting to finish the job. Okay. Here. Take my rifle. You won't kill him. But you might... Scare him off again. Right. The dam. Unstable. Wait, what? What do you mean unstable? Damn it. He's passed out. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so quiet. Uh, usually that's not a problem. Usually, all right. The volume is at a hundred. <laughs> all right, let's just there. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the long dark. Now, for people who don't remember last time we left off, which I don't blame you. It's been a long effing time. We were... Let's see if I can even remember right. I believe we were in a plane. First, beginning of the first story. So we were in a plane to... With a friend of ours, I believe. She had a very important package to take with her. She asked us. It was the middle of the storm. We are like, well, I don't know. Mm, it's going to be kind of dangerous in the middle of this massive storm. We decided to take her anyways because we had like some relationships with her. And then our plane died and crashed. We woke up. Our plane crashed. We woke up. She wasn't anywhere near. We went to the town to try to follow her tracks, right? We met an old blind lady. I don't know if she met her. I think she did. I can't remember correctly. It's all in the first story. And then... We went off to chase her. We had to do simple tasks for the lady because of cave in the mountain, which is why we couldn't follow her directly or something. So we had to get some supplies from her or something like that. And then we got through eventually and we came out the other side of a cave. There was a bear. It attacked. We saw a bear attack him. We picked up his gun, shot the bear, and that was the end. We were way too calm for Okay. Better not die on me. Okay. So yeah. I don't have any of my gear. Cause it's been so long since I played the game. My save is gone. What What am I doing again? <laughs> Dang, Jared, can you not pay attention? Enter the abandoned dam. 
Oh, right? Where is that? Hmm. Let's get going. All right. This game also makes me really paranoid. <laughs> and now there's a bear, which I got to worry about. Since we are on the easiest difficulty, we don't have to worry about wolves chasing us. In fact, they're afraid of us. Whereas in normal difficulty, if a wolf sees you, he'll come directly towards you and maul you to death times. I'm really upset that I don't have everything that I worked towards in the first chapter, but that's all right. We're here for the story anyways, not the survival aspect. All I know, all I know is that it updated recently and I was reading the blog post for it and it's like, oh, they're working on chapter three. And they are applying some things that they learned from the first two chapters. So if this chapter is long, drawn out, and not super heavy in the story, Man, how observant I am. If that was normal, it would have ran at me and mauled me. And I don't think I have a knife or anything, so. Basically would have died right away. I recognize this map, actually. This map is the map you would, that's been in like the free play mode, like the survival mode, the normal endless survival, for a very long time. So I do recognize this. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, there will be jumps, like always, when this type of stuff. Keep the interesting stuff in, and the boring stuff out. Anything? Ooh! Ooh! Rifle! Rifle bullet! Ooh! Ooh la la! <laughs> Don't mind if I do take that! Why are there so many wolf sounds? Why are there so many wolves in Alaska? Did I tell you this game makes me extremely paranoid? Because it does. Extremely paranoid. So far, this entire map, like I said before, I've played on it. <laughs> this map's been in the game since it first came out, essentially. Or as long as I can remember, anyways. I try to jump. There is no jumping. Space is a jump. Ah, the convenient tree that will allow me to get inside here. All right, there is nothing in here. It's actually something here. Ooh, a flare. Just saw a shadow appear and I was like, what the fudge is that? I think I remember too the old blind lady. I'm gonna shotgun next to her. And she'd kill you if you took anything, if I remember correctly. Very interesting character she was. Very interesting. True warning. We don't have a pry bar anymore. We know some of you like to hang out in the dam during the breaks and off hours, but the whole facility is still a no-go. The place is falling apart and unsafe to enter, especially the lower dam. If you need another reason, our insurance won't kick in. <laughs> if you hurt yourself in there, you'll be on your own. Alrighty then. Now it's not uncommon in this game to accidentally tell your guy to do something and then watch your bar drain to zero and die. At least it was in the past. I don't know if it is still in the present. If we just sleep one hour, it should be sunrise, according to my little map. I don't know why they got rid of the clock. Now, I remember there being a clock and not just a little dial in my right corner. Let's head on in. Just kidding, we're not getting in this way, apparently. Oh, wait, maybe we'd be... Oh, no. Up tight. There must be a key or something around here. Uh, I checked both cabins. Uh, let's see what's around here. Don't take me out. Fudge. Is it in that locker you think that's locked? I don't have a pry bar. And I definitely can't make a pry bar. Probably is in that locker, isn't it? I don't have a pry bar game! I don't know what you expect from me! 
Come on, Jared, just go get a pry bar. Yeah, I don't know where to get a pry bar. This could be in a random house. It probably thinks I have a pry bar from the first chapter, which I definitely probably did, but not anymore. Thanks, game. <laughs> Joke's on me, the key's back in the cabin, and I was just listening close enough. But where is the key? Where is the key? I need the key. Probably in that locker. All right, I need a crowbar. All right, that's fine. We'll just keep going, I guess. Until I can find either the key or a crowbar and hope the locker has the key. And if the locker doesn't have the key, well then I don't know what the flippin' hell to do. Got the key? No, no, no. Still looking for a key though. Oh, how I wish I had my stuff from the first chapter! We wouldn't be struggling so much. Mmm, that'd sure be nice if I had my things! Well, looks like someone's eating well tonight, and that someone is me! Daddy needs a new pair of deer meat! Alright, maybe not. Need to find a building. With the key. To the dam. Which we already should have been in. Or a crowbar. That'll give me the key. To the dam. Which we already should have been in. Come on, come on. Daddy needs a new pair of fire! Come on, come on! Yes! Okay, that does hurt me. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Had to try. Now I have third degree burns. That's fine. <laughs> that hurts so much. All right. Yep, we got campfire burn. Wow, that actually really crippled my health bar. Oh, would you look at that? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> Before, just kind of like... Slowly trickled away. Okay. Oh, there's these are cooking stones. Oh. Isn't that pretty neat? That's actually really cool. Well, I'm hoping not just to spend all of my time today trying to figure out how to get the first story objective. That wouldn't be very fun, now would it? Let me go find a pry bar. Or the keys to the dam. So we can continue the story. Which is what I want to do. It's what I want to do desperately. It's starting to weigh me down. Eh, weigh me down, shmay me down. Okay, I can't run anymore. That's fine. I can still walk, and that's all that matters. I can still move. Who wanted to do this in a timely manner, anyways? Am I right? We just want to drag this out as long as possible. I have no means to hurry through the story or anything. It's not like I. I stopped playing it because I was bored of it or anything. <laughs> they walk with this much gear. Oh, shut up, me. I can walk perfectly fine. I am not hoarding everything. Then we've got a, a pry bar. No. Okay, fine. Hey, I have this key. Awesome. Now, hopefully, I can find what I need to progress because I don't know what to do after this. Your character looks like my dad. My character looks like a vampire. He looks like some sad cloud. Look at his face. It's just white completely. With like red cheeks and a nose that is way too red. I don't know where to get this key. Where am I gonna? Am I just inherently blind? I mean, I'd believe it. Trust me, I'd believe it. I would most certainly believe that I walked past the key like 30 times already. And I'm just nothing idiot. Or that I left it back in the main cabin. I've literally spent an hour in this game trying to make progression in the different story. And I've gone nowhere. Am I gonna have to look this up? Am I gonna have to look up a walkthrough for the story? Because I can't find an effing key. Oh god, if I make. Holy <laughs> Still trying to get to this effing, effing watchtower so I can find a key! 
so I could progress in the effort story. And of course, I went the long way around. Can I get up this mountain? I am back where I started. What was the point of that? Is there a way up here? How do you get up this thing? There's no path. Oh, 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 here's the railing. What, did I just climb up there, walk around the whole thing? All right. Wait, I'm in Canada. Am I not in Alaska? I thought it was in Alaska. Okay, never mind. I guess we're in Canada. Shows how much I remember from the story, apparently. Pain kills. Alright. <laughs> guy's like, oh man. Oh, now I'm addicted to painkiller. <laughs> All right, <laughs> still haven't found the key, still can't progress in the story, which sucks. Enter the abandoned dam. That's all I want to do. Oh, there's a box underneath here. Oh, come on! What requires Hank's lockbox key? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna head back to that effing dam. And if I can't find this effing key, I'm gonna look up where the fudge to get this key because right now the amount of time I've wasted is ridiculous I think that I've been literally walking around <laughs> for two hours now and the only bit of story we've had was the intro to reach the dam you'll find is properly locked to get in you'll need a fence key it can be found in the leftmost trailer with facing them in one of the lockers and let me guess is the locker the one locker that is effing locked, and I don't have a pry bar. It's in this locker, but I do not have a pry bar. And I've searched the entire map, and I don't have a pry bar. Am I gonna have to cheat myself a crowbar? Can I even do that? And I can't make a crowbar. And I haven't found a crowbar. So now what? I can't leave the area. I guess I can go back here, back to the cabin, try to find a crowbar, go all the way back to the dam, open the effing locker, get the key, and finally do something with the story. Unbelievable. Did they not think of this? Or am I just this unlucky? Is it random? Did I just get really effing unlucky? So now I'm gonna have to walk all the way back. Hopefully it- Hopefully it has a crowbar. Come back here. If it doesn't have a crowbar, I gotta go all the way back to the house. Hope he has a crowbar. Which I don't remember he did, but then again, I didn't look around that hard. It's times like this where I was just like, Man. I wish I had my first game save file. Where the fudge is this cash? I was promised a cash. Where is this cash? Where's this cash? Where's the cash? Where's the cash at? Show me the cash lash. Get in. <gasps> I found you, my Here. pretty. Nope. 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 A-holes. Effin. A-holes, guess who's going back to the lounge? Oh, that's me! Oh, it's lucky me! I get to go back to the guy! Hopefully he has a pry bar! And if he doesn't... So either, the game gives me a pry bar, or we're not playing this game anymore. Because there's no way to cheat. There's no mod. There's no console commands. I literally have nothing to do. This game was a lot more frustrating than I thought it was gonna be. Hey dude, I've returned. Do you have a pry bar? Because I need it. Hey dude, you're my last hope. You got a pry bar? I can't do anything. Oh, pry bars are most commonly found in industrial locations. Locations, fishing huts. Remember when I said I wasn't gonna check fishing huts because that's just silly? Well, it turns out I'm the big, big dum-dum. 
Guess we're checking fishing huts. Okay, why am I so encumbered? 30 out of 20. Why can my guy only carry 25 kilograms? Suck it up, grow a pair, and carry it all. You're not sleeping. You're not eating. You will walk through the night until you get that effing fence open. I am not wasting any more time. I need to find a place to rest. No, nope, you're not sleeping till you find the key or a pry bar. That's all you need. Sorry, future Jared. I didn't plan this to be editing hell either. But hey, look where we are now. Things didn't go the way we planned, did it? Nope. Good luck. How is summer? Okay, come on. Show daddy a pry bar, please. He's really effing desperate. Oh wow, hunting knife. Well, it's about time I got one of those. Nope, 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 nope. Great, great, great. Why? I've literally been playing a walking simulator with nothing to do but fill bars. Oh no, guys. Oh no, looks like I wasted more of my time. Oh no! You're not going to be able to carry anything out of the dam. Ah, that's assuming I can get in the dam. <laughs> you gotta think of your brain. Hey, I'm finally healed of the burn when I was testing to see if I could actually burn myself out of the fire! This is the almighty locker of which I've been talking about and wasted almost three hours! This one. Empty. So it's definitely not somewhere in this building. <clears throat> Except for maybe that locker. Which I've been obsessing over. The desk. I looked- I showed you the desk. I'll show you again. It's a <laughs> Empty. Is it just really s I am so blind, but I mean, in my, come on, like, my defense there, no tag on it or anything, practically the same color, unbelievable, I wasted three hours looking for that effing key, three hours!